Hello and welcome to another Hostinger Academy tutorial. My name is Gudas and today in this tutorial I will show you how you can easily migrate your WordPress website from one web hosting to another. So for this tutorial I will be migrating this website which is hosted at hosting24 and I will be migrating this website to hostinger.com. It doesn't really matter who is your web hosting provider or where you want to migrate your website because at the end of the day the process is going to be the same. First of all, you will need to download all the files of your website and then you will need to export your database. Later on you will need to upload your files and database to your new web hosting. Alright, so since this website is hosted at Hosting24, now I'm gonna go to Hosting24 panel and uh, Hosting24 is using cPanel, so I want to access my cPanel panel so let's download all our files and I found out that the fastest method to download our files is by using file manager so let's go to file manager and basically we want to download all the files that are in this folder public HTML but before we do that let's click the right mouse button and let's select compress all right let's choose zip archive and let's click compress files this way we will compress this folder in a zip file and later on we're gonna extract this zip file in our downloads folder. All right, everything was compressed successfully. Now we can close this window and now we can download this zip file. Just wait a little bit of time until the download is complete. All right, perfect. We just downloaded our public HTML folder. Let's open this folder in file manager. So you want to extract this folder right here. Perfect, as you can see it was extracted right here and if you would click on this public HTML folder you will find all the files of your website. Now we can go back and export our database. So let's go back to the cPanel of our web hosting. Alright, we can close file manager since we're not gonna use it anymore and let's go to phpMyAdmin. Alright, so this is the database which you want to export. Let's click on it and let's go to export. Let's click go and the database was exported successfully. All right, so now we can close this tab and before we close the cPanel, let's find out the PHP version of our current web hosting because it's quite important. So, all right, let's scroll down until you see select PHP version. All right, as you can see, our current PHP version is 7.2. And you want to remember this number because when we're gonna move our website to a new web hosting provider, in this case, we're gonna use hostinger.com. In your case, I'm not sure who is your web hosting provider, but you want to remember your current PHP version because once you move your website, if you're not gonna have the same PHP version as you have right now, your website might not load at all and it might crash because some plugins might not work. So to avoid this from happening, you want to have the same PHP version all right now you know your php version now we can close cpanel and we can close hosting 24 as well so all right this is my new web hosting provider it's hostinger.com and as you can see i already added my website right here so i got premium shared web hosting plan i completed the setup of this web hosting plan and all i did is i just added my previous domain name to this web hosting i didn't install wordpress i didn't do any changes at all i just added this domain name and that's it once you add your domain name, you should see something like this in your hosting section. So let's click manage on this website. And as you can see, we get this error message that our domain name is not pointing to Hostinger. Don't worry about that because this is the last step that you need to take to fully migrate your website. So once we have finished with files and database, we will point this domain name to Hostinger. But before we do that, let's make sure that we have the same PHP version. So let's scroll down until you see PHP configuration. All right, let's select it. And as you can see, we have the same PHP version 7.2, which is active right now. If you have other PHP version activated, you should select the same PHP version as you had with your previous web hosting. All right, once you have made sure that you are using the same PHP version, we can go back to the dashboard of our website. And actually right now we can access FTP of our new web hosting. And if you are not sure how to do that, you can check our other video where I teach how to access your FTP account using FileZilla. You should see a notification at the top on the right corner with that tutorial. All right, so set up your FTP account of your new web hosting. In my case, it's going to be Hostinger and connect to your FTP. All right, so as you can see, I just connected to my FTP account. And uh, once you connect to your FTP account, 
this is where you will see all the files of your web hosting. So let's access the public HTML folder just like we did with cPanel in File Manager. So in this case, let's click on domains. And as you can see, this is our domain. So let's double click on this domain as well. And this is our folder, public HTML. All right, let's open this folder. And as you can see right here, we have one file, but actually we don't need this file at all. We can delete it. All right. So now we have to upload all the files which we downloaded previously. And as you remember, those files were downloaded in downloads folder. So those are the folders that are on your computer. So let's access downloads folder. And as you can see, this is our public HTML folder, which we downloaded from cPanel. Let's double click on this folder. And now we have to select all the files, which you can see right here. Just select all the files from this folder. Once you have selected files, click the right mouse button and click upload. And just like that, all the files from your previous web hosting will start uploading to your new web hosting. Just wait until the whole upload process is complete. It might take 10 minutes or even more. It depends on the size of your website. All right, perfect. Files were uploaded successfully. So the next step is we have to import our database. All right, let's go to our hosting your account. So basically this is where we left. We checked our PHP version and now we have to create a new database. So let's scroll until you see section of databases right here. So let's click on MySQL databases and right here you want to create your database. So I'm just gonna fill up all the needed information. All right, once you have finished adding information, click create. All right, once you have created your database, you want to copy the name of your database right here, this one. You want to copy your user and you have to remember your password because later on we're going to use those credentials. So to import our database, we have to access phpMyAdmin. So let's click right here, enter phpMyAdmin. Let's select this database and let's click import. Let's choose the database which we downloaded previously. So as you remember, this is the database which we downloaded. We don't need to do any changes. Let's click go. All right, so we successfully imported our database. Now we can close phpMyAdmin. And the last thing which we have to do is we have to access our files one more time. Instead of using FTP, let's use File Manager. So let's click right here, Files, and let's select File Manager. All right, we can select our website by clicking right here. And this is the folder which we want to access. So as you can see, those are the same files which we uploaded using FTP. Now we want to locate one file which is called WP config. So you want to click the right mouse button and let's select edit. So all you have to do right now is you have to paste the name of your database right here. You have to paste your username and you have to paste your password. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, once you finish replacing the information, you can click save and close. And basically this is it. We successfully transferred our files and database from the previous web hosting to hostinger.com. And the last step that you need to take, you have to point your domain name to Hostinger. If you want to learn how to do that, you can check our other video where I teach how to point domain name to Hostinger. You will see a notification at the top on the right corner with a card to that video. So basically that's all. This is how you can manually migrate your WordPress website from one web hosting to another. So the process is quite simple. It doesn't really matter who is your web hosting provider because all you have to do is you have to migrate all your files from the previous web hosting to a new web hosting and you have to migrate your database. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was useful. And if it was, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave us a comment. And as always, good luck on your online journey.